Hi, this is Jane Edelman, and this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to insert symbols that aren't available in on the keyboard into your document. And we're going to use a very common symbol, the section mark, for purposes of this demo. So uh, to begin with, I'm going to click on the Insert ribbon. I'm going to come all the way down to the far right-hand side where you will find the symbol, at least in the Word version of Microsoft Office window. I'm going to click the down arrow. And you'll see that because I've used a section mark before, it's readily available. But in yours, it won't be if you've not used it recently. So click on More Symbols. And then um, if you click down five rows, one, two, three, four, five, you'll see there's the section mark. Now, if I'm just using this once, I can go ahead and insert it. It puts in a section mark. I can close out. And now, when I go to get the section mark again, when I click on Symbols, it'll be right there in my recently used symbols. But a more efficient way to do it is to actually assign the section mark a, a shortcut key, because we use it quite a lot when uh, writing statutes and doing other uh, citations. So uh, I'm going to go to Symbol. I'm going to click on More Symbols. I am going to make sure I have selected the section mark. And at this point, I am going to add a shortcut key. So I click on Shortcut Key. And well, I've done this before, obviously. Uh, but you want to look to see, has it been assigned a shortcut already? And if you're doing this for the first time, it won't have a shortcut assigned. And then I'm going to assign it a shortcut. For me, uh, the section mark looks a little bit like a funny S. So I'm going to assign it Alt-S. And to do that, I hold down the Alt sign and press S, and it assigns it Alt-S. I've asked it to save the changes in my normal document so it'll always be available to me. I go ahead and click Assign, and I click Close, I click Close, and now I can put in as many section marks as I want by pushing Alt-S, Alt-S, Alt-S. So this has been a brief tutorial on inserting symbols. You can use it with foreign letters, you can use it with uh, currency denominations, anything that are found in the symbols. And if you go back to the symbols briefly, you will see that there are a lot of symbols available uh, for inserting. So, you know, if you need a trademark, uh, not equal sign, in, you know, all sorts of things that aren't on the keyboard. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.